गाइज वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट लॉन्गेस्ट नाइस अबेरे प्रॉब्लम विच इज़ फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर जीरो वन लेट्स नाउ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम यू आर गिवन एन एरे नम्स कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स वी कॉल अस अब एरे ऑफ नम्स नाइस इफ द बिटवाइज एंड ऑफ एवरी पेयर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स दैट आर इन डिफरेंट पोजिशन इन द सब एरे इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो रिटर्न द लेंथ ऑफ द लॉन्गेस्ट नाइस सब एरे अ सब एरे इज अ कंटिन्यूस पार्ट ऑफ एन एरे Note that the subarrays of length one are always considered nice. Now, if you look at this example, example number one, here you have five items. Okay, one, three, eight, forty-eight, and ten. So what we can do is we can generate all possible subarrays. You know there are order of n square possible subarrays because you can find all the subarrays starting with index zero, starting with index one. You have n minus one subarrays, right? So if you add up all the subarrays, it will be one square. Now let's consider any subarray one three eight. In this case, you have to find out the bitwise end between all the possible pairs, and see that all of them must be zero. And so this subarray will now become a candidate to be called as a nice subarray. But let's see if we can even generate all these possible subarrays. If you look at the constraint, it says ten to the power of five. This means that even if you start generating all the order of n square subarrays, then it will take ten to the power ten operations. Which is beyond 10 to the power 8, and so it will not pass. It will give you TLE because 10 to the power 8 is the standard for one second. Okay, so this is not going to pass. All the numbers are within the integer range and are positive. Now let's look at some observation which will help us solving this problem optimally. If you look at the property of bitwise end, then if no set bits occur at the same position between x and y, then the bitwise end is always zero. If you take the x to be eight, which is one uh, triple zero, and y to be six, which is zero double one zero, then in this case there are no set bits in both x and y at the same position, and so if you take the bitwise end, it will always be zero, right? Whereas if you take another example of x and y, where you have at least one set bit which is at the same position, at least one in both the numbers x and y. then your bitwise end will never be zero if there are set bits at the same position in two different numbers then the bitwise end will never be zero okay so if you know this property then if i say that if x and y have no set bits at the same position then you will always be able to find x or y equals x plus y the x plus y and x or y value will be same and this also implies that the bitwise end will be zero because you know that the bitwise end will be zero if no set bits are at the same position and this also implies that the x or y will be equals to x plus y let me give you some examples let's say that x value equals to 10 and y value equals to 4 you can represent 10 as 1010 and 4 as 0100 if you take the bitwise or then you will get 3110 are there any set bits at the corresponding position there are no such set bits right so if you take bitwise and it will be equals to 0 and if you take bitwise or it makes it triple 10 it is the same as if you had added x plus y because this value is 14 okay you can just add it up 8 plus 4 which is 12 plus 2 14 and you can just add up 10 plus 4 it will be 14 right this will always be true if there are no set bits at the corresponding position Now, if you take x and y, and let's say x, x is one zero one zero and y is zero double one zero, in this case there is at least one set bit at the corresponding position. Now, in in such cases, if you find x or y, then since two set bits are same at the corresponding position, then it will always be zero. This means that the value will decrease because if there was a set bit here and a set bit in y as well, then the zor will actually make it zero. Only when uh, the set bits is present in let's say one number x and not present in y or present in y and not present in x only in that case it will be set otherwise it will be zero right so in such cases where all the set bits are uh, not present at different different position but there is at least one set bit at corresponding position the x or y will always be less than your x plus y in this case the x or y is you can see this 8 plus 4 it is 12 x or y is 12 but what would be x plus y it would have been 16 so they are not the same right 
so if x and y have corresponding set bits at the same position then zor will make it zero in the result zor decreases the value in this case i hope this point is clear and that is how between two numbers x and y if you are considering uh, having the bitwise end to be zero then it requires that the set bits of the corresponding numbers are present at different location and by that reasoning you can also say that x or y should be equals to x plus y right but how to calculate the nice sub array now let's take an example here i have taken an array with four items and this is the bit representation of that array so that it is easier for you to understand the goal here is to find the longest sub array starting at index 0 okay so what i will do is i will start at index 0 and i will try to keep track of the current sum and the zor sum why the current sum and zor sum because i know from the previous property that even if i told you for two numbers it implies for large set of numbers too it implies for any any count of numbers you can have a's or b's or c's or x or y in all these numbers if the bitwise end happens to be zero between any pair then you can also say that it will be equals to a plus b plus c plus x plus y right that statement can be made and based on that I can maintain the current sum and zor sum. If the current sum and zor sum are always the same, then that sub array is nice. Okay, that means every pair will be seeing bitwise end to be zero. Otherwise, when they are not equal, then that means they are not nice. In this case, we are starting with eight, and a single number is always nice. Okay, zero zor with eight will be eight. Zero plus eight will be eight. We are good. Let's go to the next number, which is five. Okay, if five is added to the current sum, it becomes thirteen. And if you take zor of 8 with 5, then you can see it will be 1, 1, 0, 1. So what is 1, 1, 0, 1? It is 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 13. So you get 13 and this is fine. If you go to the next number and add 2, then the sum becomes 15. If 2, 13, that means which is 1, 1, 0, 1. You add the value 2, which is 0, 0, 1, 0. Then it will be 1, 1, 1, 1, which is 15, right? So until now, we are seeing the nice array right so this sub array from 0 to 2 is nice if you add 6 the sum will become 15 plus 6 which is 21 and if you add a 6 here 0 1 1 0 is added and so it will become uh, 1 0 0 1 so which is actually not equals to 21 right you can say it is 9 so 9 is not equals to 21 therefore uh, this is where the nice sub array condition is uh, not getting fulfilled so you can say that the nice sub array starting from 0 will end at 2 and the size of this sub array is 3. Well, even if we have stopped at 2, it does not mean that uh, we have to always start at 0. What you can do is we can always keep track of the largest window by applying the two pointer technique. So this is where uh, our nice sub array actually uh, ceased to exist and I had started at this point. So you maintain the start position with the left pointer and the end position or the or the right hand side pointer with the right pointer okay as soon as it ceases to be valid then you have to move the left pointer to the right hand side when you move the left pointer to the right hand side then your 8 will be removed from the window so from the sum you remove 8 and that becomes 13 right and from the sum which is 1001 if you are removing this 8 then you have to take a zor with it right because you know that zor of two same numbers will be zero isn't it so how did this nine come this nine actually came by finding out the zor between eight five two and six so if i say that you have to remove this a from the left hand side then you have to take a zor with eight so that this eight and eight gets cancelled out and you are left with five two six that is according to the zor property right so if i have to move this left pointer to the right you take zor with eight and so your value will be equals to 1 right your value will be equals to 1 is this 1 and 3 uh, I mean 13 equal they are not equal so again you have to move this uh, left pointer to the right hand side and you are removing this 5 so remove this 5 and this becomes 8 and you have to remove this 5 so take zor with 5 so 5 is 0 1 0 1 it will be 0 1 double 0 so it will become 4 okay it will become 4 now is this 4 and 8 equal well they are not equal so again move your left pointer to the right hand side okay and uh, you you are removing this too so subtract 2 and this becomes 6 and if you take 
Zorvid uh, 2 because you need to remove this 2. So take Zorvid 2. Fine. So if you take Zorvid 2, it becomes 0, 01. I mean 0010. 0, 0, 0. So this will come out to be 0, 0110, 0, which is 6. So this 6 and 6 are equal. That is why this will be a valid a nice sub array and then you start moving the right pointer to the right hand side so this should be our idea to keep track of the nice sub array now having understood the entire idea let me show you the two pointer sliding window technique now in this case i have taken six items and the current sum starts with zero zor sum also starts with zero and the maximum window size will be zero which will be keeping track of the maximum uh, size of the sub array which is nice now i have already represented in the form of bit on the right hand side so this time i will be doing the dry run faster so you can just pause the video and keep doing the dry run in your notebook okay so what i will do is i will see the first item 8 and as soon as i see it i will add it to the current sum i will zor it with 0 so this becomes 8 now i will uh, move this right pointer to the right hand side but before that i will be calculating the max window size it will be equals to the maximum of already known max window size comma r minus l plus 1 so 0 minus 0 plus 1 will be 1 so the nice sub array uh, size is 1 now now you move the right pointer to the right hand side again you add this 5 so when 5 gets added it becomes 13 when you zor it with 5 as well it will be 13 you can look at this 8 and 5 right it will be 13 so now uh, since they are equal again you have to calculate the max window size it will become 2 r minus l plus 1 okay again you move to the right hand side you add 2 it will become 15 and you zor it with 2 now if you take this 13 and zor it with 2 zor all these three numbers 8 zor 5 zor 2 you will see that it will be 1 1 1 1 okay so what is 1 1 1 1 it is 15 so they are equal so this is also valid and if it is valid update the window size to 3 the maximum window size right if you move it to the right hand side here and include 4 4 will be added and this becomes 19 if you zor it with 4 then you know what 15 is 1 1 1 1 4 will be 0 1 double 0 okay if you take the zor of this it will be 1 0 1 1 which is 11 actually this is 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 11 so is this 11 and uh, 19 equal well they are not equal and since they are not equal this is not a valid nice uh, sub array and this is where we have to stop currently and now i will be trying to move the left pointer to the right hand side when i try to move the left pointer to the right hand side this zeroth element has to be uh, removed and if you remove it from the sum it is simple you just subtract it by 8 and this becomes 11 but if you have to remove it from this 11 how did you get this 11 by the way you got this 11 by taking this uh, zor from all the numbers 8 zor 5 zor 2 zor 4 this is what is 11 now if you want to remove this 8 then you have to zor it with 8 so that is what we will be doing okay so take 11 1 0 1 1 and take 8 and zor them together and that will give you this value which is 3 so if you zor it with 8 you are getting 3 okay and that is how the l will move to the right hand side now you check are they equal they are not equal so i'll be continuously doing this in a while loop again remove this 5 so removing this 5 will make it 6 and uh, removing this 5 will have to uh, zor, zor with 5 because how did you get this 3 you zored it with 8 and what was the value 5 zor 2 zor 4 because 8 zor 8 will be cancelled out if you want to remove this 5 you zor it with 5 and you will get 2 zor five, uh, 4 now 2 zor 4 right so if you take this uh, 3 value which is this and zor it with 5 then you will get 1 1 0 which is 6 so you are getting 6 are they equal yes they are equal they are equal right so we have successfully removed this 5 your l pointer is at 2 and they are fine the r pointer is at 3 now what is the window size r minus l plus 1 which is 2 but the already known window size is 3 so no need to update anything now you move your right pointer to the right hand side 1 will be added you add 1 it will become 7 now take 6 and you zor 1 to it 0 0 0 1 and that will make it 1 1 1 which is 7 so 7 and 7 are equal again the window size is 4 minus 2 plus 1 3 it is already 3 so no update will happen now again you move this to the right hand side which is 13 okay so if you uh, actually add 13 to this value this will become 21 okay now if you zor it with 13 
what is 7 1 1 1 and what is 13 this is 13 1 1 0 1 if you saw it it will be 1 0 1 0 okay what is this number it is 10 4 plus uh, 8 I mean 8 plus 2 it is 10 so 10 and 21 are not equal so certainly you have to move the left pointer to the right hand side okay and then you have to remove this two so you have to subtract it by two it becomes 19 you have to zor it by two zero zero one zero and it will be one zero 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 right so that will become eight again they are not equal so again move your left pointer to the right side subtract four that becomes 15 and to this eight you zor it with four which is zero one zero zero it will be one one double zero how what is this it is 12 it is 12 again they are not equal so move this to the right hand side this means subtract 1 from here and that becomes 14 okay and if you take the zor with 1 1 1 0 0 with 1 uh, then how much will you get 1 1 0 1 it will be uh, zor with 1 it will become uh, 8 plus 4 uh, will be 12 plus 1 13 now here our L and R pointer are at the same position and it cannot happen that your current sum and ZOR sum are different at the same position, right? So there must be some mistake. If you see here at this point, uh, you have 21. So 7 plus 13 is actually 20, not 21. So my bad. Uh, you have to write here 20 and that makes it 18 here, right? And a again, 18 and 8 are not equal. So 18 minus 4 will become 14. And then 14 minus 1 will become 13 here, right? At this particular point, this 13 and 13 are equal and that is why this becomes valid the window size is r minus l plus 1 which is 1 and this is already 3 so it is larger no update will happen and this right pointer will move to the right and it goes out of bound we have to stop so the answer in this case is 3 which is the largest nice sub array so i think it is clear and if you look at the time complexity it will be order of n since we are going through the entire sub array exactly one time and mostly we will be visiting it at max two times using the left and right pointer and the space complexity is order of one let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the nums array and i will be finding the size of the array the left and right pointer and uh, we will be applying the two pointer variable size sliding window technique so i'll be taking the max window size to be zero the zor sum and current sum initialized to zeros and now i will be applying the two pointer technique until the right pointer goes out of bound so as soon as i see an element i will be adding it into the current sum and taking the zor with the zor sum if they are not equal then i will try to move the left pointer to the right hand side until the current sum becomes equal to the zor sum and the final case will be when l equals to r that means if l and r are pointing to the single item then the zor sum and current sum will be same okay because you cannot apply the zor operation or and operation for a single item and for a single item zor sum current sum will always be same so definitely the l will never cross the r barrier okay so we have already seen this in the dry run how to do that if the left pointer moves to the right hand side we have to subtract the given sum and we have to take the zor back again so that it is removed from the zor sum and you move the left pointer to the right hand side after doing all this you have to always maximize the max window size by taking the max of max window size already known comma right minus left plus one which is the window size and then you move the right pointer to the right hand side after the two pointer is done your max window size will be containing the largest nice sub array and you have to just return it as an answer so i hope this technique is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming video see you guys in the next video thank you